this lightweight bike. Maynard, three years older, two inches taller, two inch reach advantage. Let's continue the battle with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director William Kunz, Deputy Director Brian Francis. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Doug Crosby, Nelson Hamilton, and Cecil Peoples. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Josh Rosenthal. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. From the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record, 11 wins, no losses, one draw, no contest. Standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the challenger, Gray the Bully Maynard! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record, 13 wins, one loss, one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Frankie, the outside. gentlemen this is for the title i expect a clean fight obey my commands all times defend yourselves all times touch gloves get back let's do this we have already spent 40 minutes in battle eight rounds of competition inside the octagon let's start round nine you ready let's fight and here we go Gray trunks from Maynard, very low in his stance. A true wrestling setup there. White and red and black trunks for Frankie Edgar, the champion. Whose average fight time, Joe, has been 16 minutes and 14 seconds. Really good footwork, very good boxing. And the craziest thing is Edgar is really one of the smaller guys at 155. Well, he doesn't cut any weight at all, Mike. He walks around at 140, uh, excuse me, 155 pounds. Nice combination by the champion. But he believes it gives him a speed and stamina advantage. But he has considered moving to 45. Well, there was also a time where 45 wasn't included inside the octagon, and Frankie said, I want to be a UFC champion. Well, now he can shine at 45 but first things first and that is this title matchup and trying to defeat the only man to ever better him to ever even fight to a draw with him he has to be careful in moving towards his left mike he continues to move towards his left and when he does that gray maynard is looking to step into it and hit him with a right hand as he's moving and gray has huge power Big power, especially in that right hand. And then swarms on him. The speed and perseverance of the answer, Frankie Edgar. Father of two, little Frankie and 18-month-old Santino. His father truly... Frank Edgar, his biggest fan. He's moving to his left now, again, towards the right hand of Maynard. Occasionally, he switches it, moves towards his right. 
Maynard, an All-American at Michigan State, college roommate of Rashad Evans. Oh, he got hurt. Oh, that he got hurt bad. Big uppercut by Gray Maynard. And again with the uppercut. Ducking under for the single is Frankie. Watch out for the big uppercut. He, he, he had a big knee. He had a big knee. Maynard trying to tee off here early. It all changed with the uppercut. And again, he looked for it. He's still right in front of him, Mike. He's still woozy. This looks a lot like what we saw on January 1st. And by Frankie. But a little more return from Frankie here early. Well, Frankie's got to recover here. He's got to move and recover. <laughs> Big right hand by Gray Maynard. His eyes still aren't completely clear. New Jersey is full of tough dudes. This might be the toughest kid ever from the Garden State. One of the uppercut again. Switching stances is Edgar. Oh, he tried with that right hand. hand. Grabbing onto the leg. Josh Rosenthal all over the action. 90 seconds on the clock Come here in the first. Two. Uppercut. Maynard trying to be the bully here. Stuck easily. He's got to move. And Gray Maynard's got to close the distance. with the uppercut. Gray's having amazing success with that uppercut, yeah. Mike. He has added that to his repertoire for this fight. He looked for it again. Because it was the hook that did the damage in the second fight, Joe. Frankie's in trouble. Head kick. But then again, didn't we say that once before? Oh, big knee. Maynard trying to finish the champion. Frankie's nose is broken. The it's looking like Edwards a Edwards Eagle. Looking to leave with the belt. Just over 30 seconds. Again he gets right. Big left hook by Maynard. And Another again right with the right hand. Should we say it again? What is keeping Frankie Edgar standing? Maynard is much more disciplined Absolutely. in his response this time. If it makes it another 10 seconds, he'll be a different fighter in the second round tonight Completely. than he was in Las Vegas. Much more conservative in his attack. Look at him. He's fine. He's not gassed out at all. They have now fought for 45 minutes. Huge, huge first round for Gray Maynard. And here we see the devastating right uppercut of Gray Maynard. He stepped into that too, Mike. Got a lot of punch behind it. And then he caught Gray with a straight right hand. And then Gray caught him with a right hand and dropped him here. And here's a big knee by Gray Maynard. Just a huge, huge first round for Gray Maynard. Establish that jab. Snap his head back, look for that up jab. Okay? Those flying knees look beautiful. Hey, if you want to take him down, man, you can't at any house. Take him down, baby. At the end of the round, baby. This is a fresh Gray Maynard about to start the second. Yeah, this is a guy that learned so much from that first fight. You can just see from his physique the way that he's rehydrated himself with the support and aid of Mike Dolce with his strength and conditioning at Extreme Couture. Very different than January 1st. Well, he most certainly benefited from the experience of that first fight, and he looks great coming into the second round. Low again in that wrestling stance. I mean, Gray even said when he talked about the last fight, Joe, that he had to use really the second round to try to recover from the first. Watch for the six, the lead uppercut. Switching the stance, the champion, back to orthodox.
11-0-1 with one no contest for Gray Maynard. Unbeaten as a professional. Frankie Edgar, 13-1-1. He is 13 and Gray Maynard. And Gray, much more composed here yep. in the second round. Being very patient. He knows he's way ahead after that first round. And Frankie Edgar has to come after him. Good luck to you guys, Frankie. Body head with the hook. Switches that stance again. I wonder if when he's switching, he's thinking about taking Gray down. Most wrestlers, instead of boxers, boxers, if they have a strong right hand, they lead with the left. Whereas wrestlers, if they're right-handed, with step with the right foot forward. Well, Gray Maynard is not easy to take down. And Frankie has only been successful four of 16 takedown attempts against Gray coming into tonight's third fight. Trying to establish the jab. Let those quick hands go. Blood dripping from the nose of the champion. Past the midway point of round two. Frankie Edgar's doing a very good job so far in this round of boxing, Mike, of moving. And recovering to a certain degree, yeah. Joe. Yeah, well, Gray's allowed him to. This yep. is a good right hand yep. by Frankie. But the right hands just don't have the same impact as the ones that Gray lands. When Gray lands, Frankie gets shook up. When Frankie lands, Gray eats it. Well, you're talking about, as you said, a guy in Frankie Edgar who walks at about 155, 160, and a guy like Gray Maynard who walks upwards near 200 pounds. Really? Yeah, he has gotten big with his lifting. And now, as you can see, it's different though here, Joe. You can just tell from his body composition, he approached this one differently. I don't think he's ever really gotten he to it. I, I really saw him, yeah. yeah. Did a lot of power lifting earlier. Especially for his battles with Diaz and Florian when he felt like he could overpower, fight like a bully, if you will. Just over a minute now in round two. And the real key, as you've talked about, is how does the fighter approach the ability to peak tonight when it's all on the line? Good body shot. Excellent body shot there by Frankie. But the body shot is not going to explode. Head kick. It's not going to have the same kind of impact as the ones that Gray's throwing. Inside leg kick by Frankie. Again, it's a volume over power shot uh, situation. Well, the difference in this round, too, is yes, the recovery is evident for Edgar, but Edgar was really kind of very, very creative with his takedowns and much more aggressive on January 1st. A very big first round for Gray Maynard. And the second has 15 seconds on the clock. He wanted to load up on that uppercut. Good combination by Edgar there. Good left hook. That's one of the few punches that Gray's landed in this round. He basically took that round off. Much more conservative than the first fight, but maybe a little too conservative in that second round. He allowed Frankie Edgar to get back into it. Mark, give me the ice. Give me the ice, Mark. Listen, I get the ice, get the ice. Eyes. Get the ice. Keep your movement going and lean in with that free after the two every time. And slide step out when you're done. Listen, deep breath, don't Frankie. lean back. Calm Whatever your you breathing. Do. Calm don't your breathing. Switch back. Keep your hips down. Hands relaxed up. Hey, you understand what I'm saying? We are one point behind. You Let's go one point at a time. Lean in with that three hard as heck. Keep it to the end. Deep breath. He's seen, he's seen the high case. Give me a low kick. Yeah. Okay. Switch it up. The knee, the okay. knee pick is there. Yep. Okay. You haven't shot once yet. Yeah. Who's yeah. the better wrestler here? Yeah. Hey. And the knee pick with the combos after it. When you're stepping, when he's stepping to your right, you throw the hook. 
When he steps into your left, you throw the right hand. Gil Martinez in the corner of Gray Maynard. Pile him up, pile him up. Started wrestling at age three, did Maynard. Joined Randy Couture's camp in Las Vegas in January of 2006. Nine months of anger and frustration. Climaxing here tonight for both men. Early in round three, let's see if Maynard pushes the pace, Joe. And his corner said, hey, don't forget, don't abandon the takedown. Who's the better wrestler here? In their opinion, it's Maynard. Frankie, a four-time Division I national qualifier at Clarion University, All-American in freestyle. Edgar, a very decorated All-American at Michigan State, knee. Hundred and six wins as a Spartan. Again, Edgar, excuse me, Gray Maynard is looking for that uppercut. Edgar avoided it, but Gray is throwing it with so much power. He's stepping into it as well. A great featherweight title fight, and another fine battle here for the lightweight title. Nice leg kick there, executed by Edgar. Edgar got all of a single here. As good as Maynard was in round one, as you said, Joe, he's got to be careful not to let Frankie get right back into this fight. And I think he already has done that. And Frankie has relaxed and gotten into a rhythm, a good moving rhythm, and Gray's having a hard time catching him now. Nice leg kick by Frankie. And Ooh, answered nice by response. Maynard. Powerful response by Maynard. Two great competitors leaving it all here in Houston for the lightweight belt. Under three in the third. The last one went the distance. Maynard hasn't driven for that shot. Frankie's tough to take down, especially since he has improved his footwork so drastically, Joe. Well, he's much less predictable than he used to be early in his career, and his footwork, he, uh, combined with his speed, makes him very difficult to find. I mean, 9 of 10 in the first fight in 08, 3 of 11 in the second. Some of it was due to the fatigue of Maynard, but some of it... As you said, was due to the great improvement of Frankie Edgar. And then there's also the, oh, there's a good uppercut there by Maynard. And there's also the factor of the weight cut that Frankie doesn't have to deal with that he believes is his advantage. The fact that he fights at his natural weight, he does not dehydrate himself. Whereas Gray, nice right hand by Frankie. Gray certainly cuts a lot of weight. Ninety seconds. Three main in the right third. Leg kick, and then look how he avoids the right hand counter by Maynard. Frankie's really found a good rhythm here, Mike. His head work is so good. His head movement, his footwork. He just slips underneath and gets out of harm's way. In fact, he was the first to score in the first round before Maynard started unloading on that uppercut. In another combination. Nice combination by Edgar. A Maynard's minute. really having a hard time finding his rhythm again, Mike, and I think it's because he took that second round off. So well in the first. Oh, that was a haymaker of a right hand. If that one landed, Edgar would have been in all sorts of trouble. 45. It was inevitable that the rematch... The third fight had to happen. And it does here as both men recovered some from some injuries, Joe. Gray Maynard was ready to fight injured in the rematch initially.
Then Frankie was banged up as well, so they waited till they were close to 100% here tonight. Final seconds of the third round. That was a beautiful combination right there. Went for the leg, couldn't get it, threw a leg kick, landed, got out of the way of the counter. A dominant first round by Maynard, not as dominant as he was on January 1st. Another good round for Edgar, the champion. And here we see that nice inside leg kick by Gray Maynard. And there's a response by Frankie Edgar. And notice how when Edgar kicks or punches, he gets right out of there as soon as he lands. The kicks are there, man. The kicks are there, man. The kicks are there. You gotta score. You gotta score. You gotta take every chance to score. Frankie, the fight is a draw right now, man. We're even on points. We're even on points. Let's go one point at a time. Before you throw, control him and then throw him. Listen to me. When you start walking him back, if you're gonna keep punching, I need you to step and punch. Okay. No less than four. You understand me? Deep breath is going to start. Okay, no less than four, but changing the level down, baby, so that you, so that you, fill it up. Changing the level down so you don't get taken down. One key factor that Randy Couture, the Hall of Famer, talked about was for Gray to use his wrestling and don't be one-dimensional. Gray Maynard hasn't really looked to take Frankie Edgar down. No, he hasn't. Well, you know, when you get success with punches and you land them and you hurt the guy so bad, that becomes your primary focus. And Gray Maynard has become a one-punch guy. Maynard saying, or pardon me, Edgar saying that Maynard might have accidentally got him in the eye again. Josh Rosenthal talks to both fighters quickly. Gray became a title contender by bullying people. Can he bully Frankie Edgar here in the championship rounds? Well, his nickname really is about his dogs. You know, <laughs> if, you, if you talk to him, he has bullies, yeah. you know, and uh, he loves his dogs, and that's where he got his nickname. But he does have that bully style of fighting. Stays at distance here. Oh! Nice check, better answer. Beautiful combination by Frankie. The quick hands and effective of the champion circling around displaying the footwork that we first really saw at this level against bj penn tucks under can't get it attempt by gray and a nice knee by gray nice stuff by edgar again look at the head movement of edgar slipping those punches under three and a half nice right hand, hand. That one hurt him. And an uppercut, and an uppercut by cut. Frankie. That right hand really got his attention, Mike. You can see it in his eyes. And again, and a good counter by Gray. Gray had Frankie in some trouble in the first. Edgar has worked his way back to getting the better of the stand-up exchange here in the fourth. Nice, nice kick. leg kick. He's and doing a great inside. job of mixing things up and being unpredictable. The only fighter to ever survive three knockdowns in one fight, let alone one round. Edgar. Wrestled in the same conference as Josh Koscheck. Looking for his third title defense. Good Again. stuff. Amazing movement by Frankie. Yeah. Another right hand grazed. Maynard looking for a big counter, Joe. But as you said, Edgar's in and then he's out. Look, right there, boom, boom, and he's out. Good combination there. Good right to the body. And Grace swinging it air, trying to respond. Ninety seconds. Oh, he's 
The 12th round of competition between these men. And you hear Gilbert, his boxing trainer, tell Wow! Closure indeed, and how sweet it must be after that devastating first round. <laughs> Frankie Edgar's lips on the camera. Wow! Gray Maynard is in disbelief here. Here it is. It's that uppercut that had him badly hurt. And Frankie picked his shots. Uppercut again. Right hook. Let's see it again. That right drops him. That one takes him out. Frankie jumps on him. And he's face first and out. Toughest kid ever from Jersey. Wow. And let's see it again. That one drops him. And this is the finishing shots here. No doubt about it. Face down. Frankie Edgar retains his title in devastating and very satisfying fashion for him. And avenges the only loss and the only draw of his MMA career. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal is called to stop to this contest at three minutes 54 seconds of round number four declaring the winner by tko and still the undisputed ufc lightweight champion of the world frankie the wow that's all i can say about that is just wow Frankie, amazing, amazing fight, amazing victory. Take us back to the first round. You got hurt in that first round. What were you thinking while this was going on? He caught you with a big uppercut. What was going through your mind? You know, that first fight, well, that last fight we had, you hurt me in the first round, and I don't know, man. Maybe I want to just uh, make it as exciting. Who knows? <laughs> Well, you managed to keep your wits about you in the first round. You had good defense, even though you got caught by some big shots. But just like in the second fight, you came back in the second round and started taking over, slowly but surely. And here's the end. Talk us through the finish. You know, I, I hit him with a right hand. Like, I, I think on a transition, I seen him rocked, and I just went in for the kill, man. Amazing, amazing comeback, amazing victory. I, I'm dedicating this one to my family and my teammates. My friends, if it wasn't out there, man, this ain't easy fighting someone three times. Gray forced me to bring the best on myself, so I want to thank him and his team, too. Uh, I, told, I told him Mama's boy I, I shot him out, so I got to shout him out. And uh, TR, baby, bringing the belt where it belongs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Frankie Edgar. I love my kids at home. I miss them. <laughs> coming home. Frankie and Santino, TR. Tom's River, New Jersey.